about to do a very professional intro, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so you phones up. Yeah, you shut up. That's yeah. right. Phones, phones away. On silent. Yeah, yeah, that's on good. Phone. Everybody's on phones on silent, please. I'm on three, so that's oh, nice. Nice. Uh -huh. yeah. the, I'm, I'm sure this isn't what meant to what's meant to happen at the beginning. Anyway, we're here uh, in the abattoir for slaughtered in the abattoir. The uh, the must listen to and indeed must be part of podcast uh, in Edinburgh. Uh, with I'm we're going I'm going to get into trouble because it's all blokes here apart from me. Yeah, right. So yeah, right. we've already transgressed. The, uh, the unwritten rule that there ought to be at least five women on a four-person podcast. I'm, I'm transitioning at the moment, so... Ah, yeah, uh, that's yeah, good, that's great. And uh, so that was Sam Simmons, you heard there, Sam. Uh, and uh, on his uh, left, there's James Lockie Sith. Lockie Sith, that's great. Uh, now, I'm cultural, so that's, that's what I'm feeling. Yeah, but you see, <laughs> you weren't going to be my brown person. Right. But you... I've, you're, got, I've been in Scotland too long and I've got very... Pretty. It's just pathetic. It is. That's uh, okay. But we do have a Jew. That's true. We've got uh, Lewis Schaefer. Yeah. So that's very important. That's very important. Okay. Sorry. I'm afraid I don't pick any of your boxes. I know, know. it's a disaster. <laughs> uh, and on my left, uh, we've got Alex Salmon, who's, uh, well, you're, you're a fringe virgin. You're a fringe virgin. That, well, I've been the fringe. That doesn't count. No, that doesn't. Oh. No, no, no. It's that. It's that when you get stuck in there, you're flyering at 10 o'clock in the well, morning. No, it's quite good. I'm learning to say the business now. Yeah. I'm, I'm going around speaking about the business, the bit, which yeah. is great, you know. Are you up for best newcomer? Well, no, well, I, well I, they asked me to present the prizes, which would have been good because they just have given it to me. Yeah, <laughs> so, exactly. But, but then I found out I wasn't allowed to choose, I was just allowed to hand them over. So, I know, it's rubbish. So I backed out of that. I said to them in a memorable reply, I said to the Scotsman, I said, unfortunately, the entire ITV talent team are coming to my show on Friday, so I thought I'd better go with that instead. And that was true, they are all coming. Really? <laughs> they might I mean, not stay the long, risk, but they're coming. <laughs> at, the, at the risk of sounding rude, why? I mean, or are you, is this you well, now? I'll tell you, but uh, let's just say they've offered me a quarter Scottish. million already Bloody. to stop. <laughs> 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 um, one of the things that unites everyone here is that uh, everyone's taking a bit of I'm, tr I'm desperately trying to keep this on track you know as far as I can mainly because my dad will be listening to this podcast I usually advise him not to listen but because his nibs here is on my dad will be listening and I'm going to try not to Who's not to swear uh, Robert. Robert. Robert Cox. That's that my dad uh, well my dad actually passed away a few weeks ago but he was called oh, Robert as well so, uh, and his, uh, I don't know what your dad's favourite saying is, my dad's favourite saying was Scotland forever. Or as he put it, Scotland forever. <laughs> that was one of my, my dad's favourite saying too. That's that that unusual then. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, but his dad was an arse licker. My dad's favourite, one of my dad's favourite sayings is, um, there's always a better deal. Oh, so I shouldn't accept that quarter of a million. <laughs> <laughs> no. Jew. A better Jew. Yeah. There's always yeah. a better Jew. No, no, deal. Deal. Oh, right. Sorry, sorry. Same thing. A deal. What was your dad's favourite saying? Get out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Just get out of it. Yeah. I'm yeah. a mongrel mix because I'm Danish, Aboriginal, Nova Scotian, French Jew. Wow. Oh, this Absolute is fantastic. Absolute mongrel. That, that ticks a few boxes. Oh, that, yeah. And if also, only you were a woman, it'd be perfect. I'm transitioning. Nova yeah. Scotian French, yeah. But I'm also a mongrel too. My father was from Brooklyn and my mother was from the Bronx. So it was quite... It's my sound. mother was from Brooklyn and my father was from the Bronx. That's my best joke. Oh, so... Oh, right. Hang on a minute. Are you, yeah, you see, are you Alex, American? You've got no competition yes. here. What the fuck? I've heard about your show. It sounds amazing. So it's the, you're, you're reading unopened letters from your mum. Yes. Let, 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 let. No, 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 no. This sounds really yeah. fascinating. Well, it, this is... Um, we're going to get... Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm just here a bit... for a reason. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, gotcha. No, but um, everyone's had uh, this fringe a bit of stick for yeah. something in their show. I mean, yeah. you, when I saw Sam. your show... Have you seen it? Remember, what do you mean by seeing it? Radio. What? I mean, we're on a podcast. I know. Say you, Sam. Okay, you, Sam. So sorry. You, Sam. I came to see your show. Uh, which I think is is absolutely brilliant. It's got five stars in the Scotsman. Uh oh. And uh, I know. I know. Uh -oh. Well, I only got four. I know. I know. I'm out. Well, <laughs> they always think the overseas acts are better. No, I tell you. No, I tell you. You were brilliant. 
It was that Elaine C. Smith let you down. No, I don't Guys, know. It would have been five if she'd only been more talented. That duet. That's oh, what, uh, that was gorgeous. You guys sing. Yeah, I sing. Oh. Sometimes. I do. There are no stars in Scotland <laughs> because the English took them away. Did they? <laughs> Thank you. That's uh, Lewis Schaefer. <laughs> but you're a part of that, aren't you? So what's... Hang on. Oh, no, 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 no. Get, right, no. So, no I'm just fascinated. No. We're going to go, get round to him very quickly. Oh. Uh, right, so you you were saying when I saw your show yeah. that, that there's a bit in it. Sam is Sam's comedy is best described as I don't know, wonderful, surreal, a bit surreal. Yeah, yeah a little bit. Yeah. And uh, up till now, you've basically gone into a Sam Simmons gig and it looks like an explosion in Poundland. Yeah, yeah, and it's not that this time. Basically, yeah. the whole place is covered in crazy props. It's not this time, um, and because he utters the the words my daughter uh, the word vagina and the words porn star more or less in the same sentence all hell has broken loose <laughs> amongst the PC brigade yeah, yeah they're upset have you heard about this yeah how big are the PC brigade I mean we talk oh. about the Daily Mail are we going a bit strongly oh, with yeah, the Daily Telegraph oh no I mean, how far are we going with this well we're talking about the PC brigade they're <laughs> They're all pervasive here. Are they? Oh! Yeah, people get very upset. I've, I've been accosted about it. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah, a lot. So just, lot. just explain what it is. That was nothing to do with your show. Yeah, but what happened general? to, um, to Alex over yeah. here? What right. Yeah. Yeah. I've been there just right yeah. now. That's, that's why. Is that? No, he's I mean, that was before the show. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm out of touch. So, um, he's suffering from seasonal affective disorder. So, so it just explain a bit in your show. That bit in yeah. particular. Well, but it's a sight gag, essentially, is it, that I look like a sex offender. This is the look. I mean, you can't... It if is. you can explain to it at home, you look at a picture. No. Bald head, you know, like a mustache. Dodgy mustache. Like a dodgy... If I, uh, like, emerge from a hedge, like, whole families would run away. Like, basically, that yeah. kind of thing. So, talking it's about having right. a daughter... I'll you, Alex. In this respect. But now I get to hang around parks, and people are, like, worried about that. But it's more... The word pedophile is such a big word, and it's not like I'm. Yeah, I'm not advocating. Like <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I'm defending here. Like I'm advocating pedophilia here. This is what the fuck am I saying? But basically, it's a it's a, a journey as a father, um, a new father, dealing with uh, issues where people make an assumption about what you look like. Alex, you're looking at me like uh, the, the way most of the audience do look at I'm me. I'm to get a punchline. <laughs> well, the punch, well, the punch yeah, lines yeah. my, my head in general. But yeah. it's basically, it's not a defence of that. It's just like, uh, it's not even a defence. It's just like me just talking just on stage about what defend. I look like. Just tell the gunsh. Well, that's, uh, that's the yeah, thing. Yeah, like, this you. is the thing. But with an audience, they yeah. will fucking turn and they hear that word. It's just trigger words. If you say certain words yeah. in a show, people will switch off and they won't hear any of the words around it they'll just hear the word pedophile yep. and they'll go oh it's a pedophile show he's into pedophilia yep. or if they hear the word transsexual or tranny it doesn't matter what it is or uh, nigger it's going to yeah, be just, it's, it's a word and that's not my word to have yep. but I can own uh, I can own the word pedophile because of what I look like yeah. <laughs> okay I will own that word no, and he's going to put more and effort it. into it yeah and <laughs> but uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's, James's uh, show is called Britain we need to talk about the gollywogs yeah, right. And he has had to give up flyering because he got so much stick when he was flyering just because of the name of his show. Well, I mean, it was, uh, it's, yeah, it's interesting. People work, it's quite, it's a lot easier to get Was it deliberately team. provocative? Yes, yes. I, the I, clue is in the word gollywog. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it was, um, I mean, I got stick for it, but it was the audiences who've come uh, and thankfully they've come have um, been really into the show whereas when I did Australia let's talk about the Gollywogs they didn't like it well it really split the room uh, it's, it's a broken country number one it's, it was it was really interesting Like, so I'm happy to not be on the streets and pay people to fly if people will come because once they're in the show then they get the vibe of the show and we do a lot of set up and, and make it really fun and it's all about opening people up conversation but in Australia even when I did that we get to the end and people were standing up you know, and this is an Adelaide. Yeah, you're getting uh, angry. Yeah, I had one lady tell me that Adelaide wasn't racist at all. It's also it's a biscuit in Australia's gollywog. Oh, yeah. So maybe they thought they were coming along to that. Yeah, it's a gollywog biscuit. Buy, you there used to be jam them. here. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you guys have it here as well? Is there a yeah. gollywog no, 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 biscuit no. here as well? No, no, no I'm only I'll be able to remember it. It used to be jam Robertson's. Robertson's. Yeah. Yeah. Robertson's jam. People have thought they were And they had a gollywog on the... Yeah. We also have coon cheese in Australia though as well. So there's lots of issues going on back at home. But did I disappoint the racists who wanted to come 
did you feel bad about you that? You do? No, I, I didn't. And it's quite delightful when in all these crowds you see one person, and that person has definitely come for a celebration of the Gollywog. Right. Uh, yeah. And they slowly realize. And, and just, and just yeah. watching them slowly realize this is not the show I think it's going to yeah. be. Because uh, one of the. It, uh, for me, it's a mind changing show because there's stuff that he says that made me think, shit, I'd never thought of that before. Because when I went down to England at first, I was so kind of like, no, Scotland's not remotely racist. Uh, but I think that's because, and I mean, you're about the same age as me. Um, uh, and there was no, I never heard anyone say, there was loads of, uh, there was Chinese, there was loads of Northern Indian people and Pakistani people. But I never met an actual live black person until I was 21. Yeah, wow. A lot of dead but, ones. But, um, yeah, but no but, racist. But I, I'd never heard anyone really making racist slurs because people don't care what colour you are. They just want to know whether you kick with your left foot or your right foot. Yeah. So marvellous. So orange. Exactly. Exactly. You're black. I mean, Catholic black or Protestant black. That's, yeah, right. So there's... I think there's a, I mean, there's a wee bit more, to be fair to, I mean, given, the, given my former position, I think I should, we we defence of oh, right the then. nation, the Scottish identity is a lot less all-consuming than British identity. I mean, you really? know, you, you, well, yeah, absolutely, I mean, they, it can be Scottish and Asian, Scottish and Irish, Scottish and a hundred oh, other things, yeah. whereas, you know, it's like, oh, there was, it used to be a Tory politician, you guys would know him, called Norman Tebbit. He once said, it was all right for West Indians to be in the country as long as they supported the, in, the English cricket team. He actually said this, and yeah. he, he thought, um, you know, he was sort of oblivious to the fact he was excluding the entire nation of Scotland from his, uh, you know, in one sweet, but the Scottish identity Wait, wait, can I, as an American, had that, that can I just problem. ask you a question about sure. Scotland? Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's not part of England? It, well, not, not, not if I have He's my way. He's winding you up. <laughs> not if I have my way. Is he? Listen. You're the first American I met with a sense of irony. You're absolutely fantastic. <laughs> That's because he's Jewish. Yeah, well, my shirts are very, are very pressed. I love that blue and Jewish. Yeah. It was fantastic. Listen to me. The show, Listen to me. The whole, the whole point about Scotland. It's, it's called the Scotland National Party. I mean, really. Scottish it's, National Party. Scottish, Scottish National Scottish Party. National Party. National you can't say it. It's, it is, it's inherently... It's the most single issue party. We're talking politics here. It's a single issue party. It is. What is it? It is. You're wrong. I mean, it, 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 it defines wait. itself can, can I, entirely. I'm just have a quick look at the water, <laughs> Yeah. You know, I said bugger all. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you said yourself what it is. It incorporates anyone in the country, non-racist, as long as they're not English. No, 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 no. no it can like be English Scots as well. Yeah. You don't get through all lines. Hey, this is us, and no, that's no, where no, we. No, no. Yes, I spent a lifetime trying to get Scotland to stop defining itself as not England. Yeah. A whole bloody lifetime. But you come here for yeah. five minutes and pretend I've not been doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, no, 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 because, no, no, no. because it, it takes it takes a newcomer no, 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 like no. myself to actually. Can I just say I'm not a newcomer? You're a visitor for God's sake. Yes, have a bit of humility. <laughs> I know it's difficult when you're trying to conquer the world. No, no, have a bit of humility. No, it's 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 he's a refugee at this point. So I'm, I'm a hostage. I'm not that. It it takes, takes, no, it, it takes someone an outsider to see to see two squabbling a no, squabbling no, couple gotta, fight with each other, and you need and you need somebody like when you're going through a bitter divorce. Your wife. Yes, yeah. I am. That's what it is. Between you and England, just just kiss and make up Listen. and stop your fighting. Can I have the gramophone? No, I, 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 I believe Listen. in like escape as well. I'm totally with you. Like there, there yeah. is, it is like I don't understand what happened in the election though. Where, why did everyone? We only, we what was it with the massive swing to a Tory vote? No, we only won a small majority instead of a big majority. We only won 35 seats out of 56. It was like pretty obvious though that this was like. We were expecting Scotland to come on in, especially like after Brexit and right, all. We all know, I know, but we, you know, look, fair dues to my success on this. You won a majority of seats. Which okay. Yeah, yeah, you've done very well. We're all upset. Most systems. But I, but I, I love was, the idea of like, Scottish secession is like makes complete uh, sense to all. Yeah, to make absolutely. It's 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 I mean, we're, we're in a public discussion. Uh, and we're, I mean, we're all talking 
our politicians are discussing about eventually it happening. I think well, a lot of, I think you'll find the funny thing is a lot of us are watching. You've got a treaty at home as well. Like, yeah, you know, but we like, don't honour it. I mean, we're still sorting it out. But you've got like two. You've got a split parliament. And yeah. Basically, nothing can be passed unless it's like you know the Maori people and then the no, rest of no, everyone no, else. No, 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 that's not how it works. Is that how the treaty oh, works? No, no, the tr- that's how the treaty is meant to work. So it doesn't work like that at all. No, yeah, no, because we signed it with the how English. How does he offend people? Yeah, right. <laughs> I know how he offended, he offended people. Oh, we'll uh, get round to you, you've done round this way. Uh, That's no, the thing to do. Very true. Is that all you did? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this you is that. You attacked for that? <laughs> <laughs> you do that enough with everybody, you're people are not going to like you. Now, Lewis, Lewis is a kind of professional um, offender. Oh, uh, oh, this oh, time oh yeah. You should have made him not a marriage counselor after all. <laughs> no, I no. was fully taken. Oh my God. <laughs> that was Lewis has had the most acrimonious divorce in the history of show business. He's yeah. made a career out of how appalling his divorce was. Um, yeah. well, and talk about that. Uh, I, I married a woman, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> that can happen. It's, it gets angry. Is that good for you to get out? Well, no, it's not good. No, here's the point. I'm in favor of people staying together, Alex. And let me tell you something. I think, uh, I think, like for example, I think Australia should stay together, keep, keep Tasmania there. I think the North and the South Island shouldn't shouldn't go its separate ways. I think America should come back to England. Do, wow. do you know what? I think it should come back to England. We should call America England and have the capital in Washington D.C. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you beginning to get a sense of no, how they, 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 Lewis can upset people? No, that still can't be what upset. It must have been someone else. I, yeah, I don't believe that. No, well, just his silly yeah. politics upset you. Yeah, well, the, I, I like that. Uh, well, well, this <coughs> time, there's all. Lewis's shows are famously chaotic. They make Sam's shows look like oh, a no, Michael McIntyre <laughs> extravaganza. You'll have to do better, Sam. <laughs> You'll get left behind. <laughs> get no, there. Come on, get more yeah, A few, A few strewn so about sad. props and some casual references to pedophilia are just not cutting it anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really not offensive enough. Next time. Go on, it's not enough. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, Lewis originally. Lewis, I'm yeah. going to ask you. You know what I'm going to ask you, Lewis? No, no, no. I'm going to ask you to do your famous Holocaust joke. This is what. This is should what. I, can whatever. I just? just, I just before, this before you. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Before you do over this show, yeah, well, I'm a member of the United Kingdom Holocaust Memorial Commission. Oh, are well, you? Yeah, I just, I just thought I'd mention that. No, this stage, I can, okay. I can make a Holocaust joke. Yeah, but he's Jewish. He's Jewish. No, no, because the Holocaust never that. happened. No, I don't say that. <laughs> don't say that, Liz. It's you a podcast. You've got this joke. Yeah. You've, you've managed to offend people. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but who put the who put the ouch in ouch? Yeah. Uh, so, but this no, year, this year his show is. Uh, this year his show is about his opening letters, which he received from his mother many many years ago and never opened. When uh, I moved to this country seventeen years ago. My mother wrote me a series of letters. She was in a mental asylum. That, don't give it away. Don't Sorry. Give story away. And she wrote me letters. Sometimes she was, sometimes she wasn't. And uh, wait, seventeen? What? Seventeen years ago. Oh, seventeen. Seventeen. Sorry, I yeah. That's when I moved to this country, I moved to the capital of Scotland, which is London. Mm. And uh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Right. Let me know what he's going to punch me. I'm so gonna... sorry. I promised him this wouldn't happen. And Carry I'm, on. But I'm from the capital of it. Of okay. I'm just sitting just hoping you're going to fall off your seat. That's, I mean, you're, you're swaying back and forward. I'm very hopeful. You can be off here. Any moment you're going to fall off. I'm worried you're going to try and hit him and hit me instead. Yeah. Right. 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 Come on. So, well, quickly, moderate. quickly, quickly. We're all losing interest here. No, what I did was I, um, I got these letters from my mother because I moved here because I fell in love with a... Uh, with an English girl, okay, and uh, okay, she wasn't English, she was from Scotland, but I didn't know the difference, and I still don't know the difference, I married a Scottish girl, okay, are so still, Are you still married to her? I'm not married. Well, that's, that's, that's the difference. Yeah, that's <laughs> the difference. <laughs> well, I should have learned my lesson, you never divorce a Scottish woman either. I mean, and my kids are half, whatever, I don't know if they call them half Scottish, but their mother is Scottish Scottish, and their kids, anyway, and uh, so she sent me these letters, I didn't open them. And uh, I thought I'd make a show about these letters that my mother had sent to me. And uh, so I'm opening one letter, I have 23 letters, and I'm opening one letter a show and reading the letters, and it's uh, not really comedy. It's horrific, it's, it's really sad. And uh, it's like, it's sort of like asking 
Otto Frank and Frank's dad to read her diary. That's sort of what it's like. And sort of, it's not really actually. Why, why is that offensive? I don't understand. I mean, all the other stuff you've come out with so it far is really offensive. It is it's offensive. That's not offensive. I guess it's a sharing, but it's like it's blurring a line between it. Yeah. Like, we're seriously oversharing at the yeah. same time. If yeah. you're, you're opening these up, like, this is not set up in any way. No, you're no. opening up a different letter every show. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're they're not coming to a common mother who's been to I don't yeah. like to make light of this because I can see it's deep, but the, uh, yeah. there's just no limit to length for your run if you've only got like 19 letters. You're not going to be taking the show around the world, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't like to be flippant, but I mean, we all do, do you know? Do you know what? Every, <laughs> what kind of believe you went straight to business? If you think you went straight business, to business, mate, the business. He's been yeah, yeah. Then I would have given an uncle. The difference is I'm really Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's fiscally irresponsible. No, no, but it's, but it's true. It was because he said when he you he, he found them. And he went, your franchise, and mate. he went twenty three letters. That's an Edinburgh run. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought twenty three. <laughs> I'll just write, you know what it is? When the run's over, I'll just write some new ones. But that's one of the things that people are saying, because they know, you know how manipulative Lewis can be, and uh, they're going, oh, the the letters aren't real. He's just drunk your drink. This has not been offensive, he's drunk your drink. I know. I'm, I'm trying to control I'll keep myself. Your hands off my hands. Wait, has your authenticity been questioned? Yes, yeah. massively. Wow. Yeah. But That's... I mean, it doesn't matter when they when you see the letters; they're real letters, and it's it's not really the it's not really a comedy show. It is a comedy show, but it's like it's like t- it's like most comedy shows is pain, and then you make less time, okay, to make something funny. Right? Comedy is pain. Is, Pain plus time. Yeah. This is like pain comedy. So in a way, it's it's really. I don't know. I mean, I to be fair, I'm, yeah. my dad died recently, and uh, yeah. very recently during the election campaign, and I am wending subconsciously, consciously, my yeah. father into a lot of the jokes. But there, I know he'd approve. Yeah. Well, they're his favourite stories, but. If my dad was still alive, I wouldn't be talking about him as much as I am in the show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, but it's not quite the same thing because I I know what my dad would have liked and not liked about. I mean, it's a joke about a, a hearse and a coffin and a cottage. But it doesn't sound like a, a, a happy sort wait, of wait, thing. Wait, but wait, my dad would have loved it. A hearse, a cottage, a, a cottage. You know, a, a, a cottage. Yeah. yeah. A cottage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And uh, but. So I'm doing that, and I know I wouldn't be doing it if they yeah, hadn't died yeah. recently. But no one's questioning that your dad died. I mean, it just seems yeah. such an amazing. You've got to have yeah. such massive balls to walk up to a man who's saying I'm reading dead letters from my mum. Go, no, you're not. Yeah, like, that's, that's not the least of the issue. I don't care. What it is is it's in in a way. I would not do this if I didn't know my mother was to- would be totally thrilled. That I'm giving her a voice. I don't see how frankly, I don't see how like anyone can be offended by it. I mean, yeah. I, I say, say, no oh. one is no one's offended by it. No one's. Oh, I was angry. Is your, you your mum yeah. still here? No, she died. Yeah. Right. She died. <laughs> so did you did you have that? Uh, did you get goodbye? Did you have a a nice relationship with my mom? Yeah. And he very, abandoned her. Oh, okay. it's not as simple as that. Yeah, not why you were angry. You're not angry he's opening the letters, you're angry about I'm angry, oh, angry, angry at me. She wrote it she wrote in the re- your review that you didn't like me. Yeah, I said and that it, I wasn't like was, it was writing the review, it was difficult right. to kind of contain my rage yeah. at so did, 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 him did, as a person yeah. and, and give the show uh, it, it's difficult sometimes to to divide the you have to go, this person is an arsehole. But, but he's a great comic. You, so your relationship yeah. with your mum wasn't good? I'm not looking at anyone in particular. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. That's your kid. Right. <laughs> so I'll keep on your racing. Right <laughs> relationship with my mum. Yeah. yeah. At the same time. My, my, yeah. I mean, it's not, not turning into a big, sad moment hour kind of thing, but uh, like, my mum was incredibly abusive. And, like, yeah. you know, I've had to, I've had those challenges, like having a little daughter yeah. to then go, right, well, how... I was so in fear for years that I would replicate that abuse. Wow. And I'm actually angry at my mother now because I have this girl in my life and I, I'm i so in love. The, the, the falling in love again when you have a child. I did not know this was a thing. I didn't know what it would be. And I'm angry at her now because of what she did to uh, me and my, my brother and mm. my sister. 
that I don't want that relationship with her. And I had that horrible... Because I only met my dad when I was 22. So I've got a, I come from a really broken... You only met your dad when you were 22. Well, 22. So, I mean, I have a relationship with my father, my mother, who was my mother who brought me up. And, so and I can't mixed feelings forgive about her uh, for, for what she did because this is not what you do to a child. I look yeah. at my daughter and go... How could you do that? That's why parts of the show are about that stuff. Like, yeah. how could you do that to a child? I'm not going to go into what my mother did because it's yeah. horrific. But I can't have that relationship with her. So but, you saying this stuff yeah. and you just losing your dad, I mean, it's just, uh, it's, I, I see stuff within it and go, oh, God, you've apparently abandoned your mum. You've got your love for your dad who was always there. And I, you know, like, yeah, anyway. I mean, I, Daddy, I, I'm I'm not in the same league as these three for being fancy. I mean, yeah. as far as I'm concerned... You can give it a go. Well, well no, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, what I was accused of being offensive about, you would see or hear worse than any yeah. pantomime. Absolutely. Uh, this kind of, and you agree with me, OK. Right. But, Absolutely. But I've got a good story about it, but about the hypocrisy of the, the media, right? And that is that the BBC, when they thought they might have people who were offended, did 50 Vox Box, 50. Uh, my, my colleague uh, counted them. You know, Jenny Godley, 50 box pops outside my show, people had seen it, and asked everyone if they'd been offended. Everyone said no, it was absolutely fine, we yeah. weren't offended at all. Now, maybe that might be a failure according to you guys, but nonetheless, yeah, right. it wasn't according to me. So they showed about five of these box pops. Then they went to Glasgow and interviewed people who hadn't been to the show and, just told and them asked them right. if they would have been offended if they had been yeah. at the show. And then they showed that and presented that as balance. Yeah. There was five folk from Edinburgh five who weren't years, offended yeah. who had seen the show, yeah. and they were balanced by five folk from Glasgow who would have been offended if yeah. they turned up at the show, which they hadn't done. Yeah. So you know that is the Glasgow. Sort of, is that what you're saying? Is, <laughs> well, no, no, no. <laughs> if I had the show in Glasgow, they would have done the reverse. Yeah. I mean, it's not a question about the cities. Now, I... A lot of the remarks that you guys have made, you know, I can understand why people generally would be offended about. Your remark about the Holocaust, for example, I would be automatically offended by. Yeah. Just to give an example, but there is an issue. Wait, wait, wait. There's a whole section, of, listen to this, the whole section of uh, press, and it's not society, it's press, who want to be offended. No, professionally by, offended. And to professionally offended, and the fact that they are there or not there doesn't matter. The people who judge whether you guys are offensive or not are the people who turn up at your shows. Because yeah. yep. they are the people who see whatever you're doing in a context. Yes. And if you don't see yes. it in the context, then by and large you're not in a great position to judge whether you should be offended or not. Now, can I just get in that thing that I told you about? Of course you can. Now, I've Why, sold you out, I've sold, now? Well, a wee minute. I've sold out 18 shows by not naming my very special guests. Now, that has been my He's tactic. He's got a special guest every day. But right. I never name them. The yeah, show is yeah, different yeah. every day, so I can't offend people in two shows because the show is totally different. Yeah. I've sold out 18 shows by not naming a guest. Now, I've got a new tactic. I've got another extra, 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 extra show where I am naming my guests. So third and I'll see show. if this still works. So right. I've got John Bishop, Des Clark, all in your sort of league, and the three of us this Thursday night are doing a special on Trump. And if the three of us can't kill him, then nothing will. <laughs> I, I thought I yeah. thought the Solaris clips would do the job, but nonetheless, so Don, John, Des, and myself are going to have a go at finally finishing them off. You see, this I coming love. First. I love that John, Des, and myself. And if you see, I'm you're now already. In, I'm now in the business. I That's said it. it. I'm in the business. You're now in show business. <laughs> I'm in the business of finishing off the American. But you know press. what? You just said something that was very Trumpian. Which is... Oh, don't, don't say that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they because, because, yeah, 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 because you're sitting there blaming the press for getting offended. It's not but the press are. that's... Oh, no. You know, it isn't the press that can be offended. It can be normal people, too. It's not just the press that could be offended. No, 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 no. This is, this is, I see this casual thing all the time. The problem with Trump is not the attacks the press. The problem with Trump is a grade A fruitcake. He's become American president. That's the problem with Trump. Is what is what say that's it's a grade A president is a grade A fruitcake who has become yeah. president. That's the problem. It's possible to attack the press. Donald yeah. Trump attacks the press, but because you attack the press, that doesn't mean you're Donald Trump. Yes, it does. It's, no, it, it doesn't. Does. It doesn't. It does. It does so. Now, Lewis, no, it makes it Trump. Don't punch me. And no, it no, I'm just going to ask you to shut the fuck up for a second, okay. because I know. Sorry. <laughs> well, right. Have a go. Egypt. He is an Egypt. You're an absolute Egypt. Right. 
But America is sent us in Egypt. I mean, you've got, you've got 300 million people and you no, send us in Egypt. America is saying the same thing about the Trump family when they came over from Scotland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 the no. thing about the Trump family, this is a good one for you to I take I was back. invited to live in this country by a Scottish <coughs> woman. Lewis, so you can blame your no, no, Lewis, about, I'm not going to have to hit you. The thing about, but you forgot she was Scottish. You didn't know she was Scottish. The thing about the Trump family is Mary McLeod, his mother, went to America as an economic refugee in 1926 now, and then was well received in America, worked hard, made a successful life for herself, good on her. But you might think under the circumstances he'd be a wee bit more compassionate to economic refugees yeah. given that's exactly Actually, what I've his seen, mother was. I've seen this a lot. We had a, a New Zealand Prime Minister who's just retired and his mother was on a benefit, grew up in a state house and everyone, when he came in, thought, oh, he'll be a centrist. He'll be very much mm. uh, in favour of helping uh, welfare. And his economic policies didn't. And it's really interesting watching the children of people who come from that kind of economic yeah. background. Isn't it the way it's meant to happen? Like, don't hippies have lawyers? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's exactly what happens. Isn't it? Like, like I, it does not surprise me that Trump is like him. Yeah. No. But no, it, I like him. Really? I do. I like him because he believes in what he believes in. He knows what he stands for. I don't care. He like, doesn't know what he stands for. Unless he knows, no, unless I, he knows that he's I, just a I, fucking rubbish. idiot. He I, knows I, he's I, a fucking I, idiot. I, so I, fantastic. I, just be yeah. a fucking idiot. You know, right. The thing with Trump, I mean, well, he can do better than any of the four of us can do. You can have a five minute conversation with a Donald. He contradicts himself four times and refuses refuses to admit that he's contradicted himself. But how come you gave in to him? You gave in to him and let him destroy I mean, beautiful... You did! You let him destroy that horrible, that beautiful area. No, there's not, listen, there's nothing what wrong area? with the golf course. What? What's wrong is him. It is a golf course. Yeah. It's yeah. environmental well, devastation. Well, I did, listen, so, I did, so, I did something that nobody else has done. I've been three times in court. Hey! Yeah. Is this yeah. a golf yeah. field? What's going on? Yeah, the golf course. You had to take him to court. So he went to the golf course? No, he took me <laughs> now listen, there was a reason, He's a good like a, a reasonable reason, that, that Lewis was here. I happened to bump into him, we had an interesting conversation. About Not you calling him, what did you call him again? I just I missed it the first time round. Help me out. You what called him something, a word. A Jew? No. no. <laughs> Goodness sake, stop it. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Not sorry. Not sorry. Not sorry. Not sorry. 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 I was hoping for Brad Pitt. <laughs> I mean, Brian's a great actor, but Brad, you know, is still in there. But now, um, did you, do you feel, I mean, I, your show is called uh, Unleashed. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling Do you that. feel unleashed? Oh, yes, absolutely. I mean, absolutely. not at this precise moment, but no, no, I'm, I bet you feel... I am, yes. Because you're... All the time now. Because you're not, you know... Uh, it's not in politics. First, it's no, horrible. No, Lewis, no. Shutting the fuck Compared up. Compared to is your show, politics is really nice. <laughs> like, you know, but you're it's not... really interesting. Like politics, because you are watching, you're, you're censoring what's being said, and you are you're worried that maybe like something might be brought up on a podcast. Yeah. I can understand that. I really can. Like you know, especially like you know, hey, the out, you know, outwits and blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. And yeah, because you're you worry, you're worried about because if it gets brought up one day, yeah, you're worried, you're worried about the you do have to worry. So you do hear those I words, agree. like. I understand what you'd be doing, self-editing the entire time. What happens in the live show? To, can people come in and uh, are there people secretly recording? Are there certain things that are said by you where you'd be like, oh, I wouldn't be comfortable with that well, being said? What I do is I, I change, well, actually, the, the, the most sweary words we've had so far, for example. The most what, sorry? Sweary words, the most sweary. Sweary words, like fuck. Oh, like, yeah, like, that's no, 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 you can say that. No, I mean, some are, some are, but, No, exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. But the, 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 the worst offender has been Lord John Burr. Remember the House of Lords? <laughs> wow. I've got, I've got, what I've done is I've got my band as a bleeper. I've got five, and you know, what we get... So you've got a band as a bleeper? Yeah, I know, but you're on the BBC. When you're on the BBC, you'll get bleeped all the time, right? Yeah, you of course, yeah. Swearing, right? Well, on my show, 
You get the sweary one, then you get the bleep. <laughs> Afterwards. Both, so it's yeah. really good because it's live, you see. Are you saying you've created a safe space? Yes. <laughs> so I, so, so well, if they accuse Lord John Bird of saying, I didn't say it to one my show, I said, look, I tried to bleep him out, we were just a bit late. <laughs> 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 yeah, it must be hard to walk around self editing all the time, though, and thinking, oh, I can't no, no, say that, no, or no, certain no, things. No, no, I just turned at the band and said, bleep. Yeah. You think Gordon, Gordon, Gordon Brown like had the mic on him and he was in the car and he said that stuff afterwards? It got, must be hard all the time to be just yeah. always on edge. You know the interesting thing about that, I don't know if you watched the whole thing. Actually, his conversation with that lady was, I mean, Gordon is not really a people person, never has been. But that, his conversation wasn't he bad. No. What, what caught him out? Wasn't he had the microphone on? He got into the car and he was so upset that he'd actually met a real person and he started looking for somebody to blame. Yeah. And his actual conversation with the lady wouldn't have done him any damage at all. It was him trying to find who was responsible for an she ordinary person. a horrible woman, that horrible woman. No, no, bigoted. He said she was bigoted. bigoted woman, and yeah. if he'd said horrible, he might go off with her. Yeah, yeah. And then he went, he went into a radio studio. And having forgotten a microphone was on, he then forgot a camera was on. And he did an interview like this, his head, this hat, oh. which rather kind of closed the deal on the like image. Yeah, it's really it's 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 right. 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 To walk right. around paranoid all the time as a politician, that's what you do. Well, it's a what a horrible it's a way to live. It's what, a you you get paranoid at home, you look you look under the toilet and think, oh, what's in there? Is someone recording this? Like... Oh, I mean, no, I mean, I don't think Alex it has a terrible shit. Uh, well, 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 the sound. I mean, it must be hard no. to be constantly you're thinking right. about you're what's right. being recorded. I made the right decision to be unleashed, don't you think? Well, I just made the right decision. No, maybe not. I mean, you step, you're a man of morals. I mean, I, I get what you're there for. Yeah, I get no. what you're about. But yeah. it must be horrible to live that life, just be listened to years all the time. Like, just imagine listening to you all the time. 30 years. Just all the fucking time. Just like you have... You know, taken. Listen, I've seen myself in a totally different way. No, I should be. You're a hero. You've transformed my thing. You're a hero. That's why you get the rewards. That's why you get the Why can I speak to you 30 years ago? Where were you when I needed you? I could have been anything. Just to be there, constantly self editing. I could have been there. No, don't say that. Listen, guys, I, I'm gonna. I, it's not nothing you've said. I'm not leaving because of anything you've said. Lewis, you've upset it. I'm not. Have you been pulled away by the mouse trap? Have you been pulled away by keepers? No, I, yeah. it's worse than that. I'm getting pulled away by the mouse trap. <laughs> the, 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 this is your, your cahoots. These are the people who run the mouse trap, the longest uh -huh. running play in and the city of London, the capital of Scotland. And, and they. And they want you to be in the show. They do. They do. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. No, no, no. You no, heard no. it here. Less, he wants less a long good. run. He's not doing one performance. Just Alex wants one. I guess I'm his new manager. He wants a, he wants a full run of the thing. Not, yeah. yeah. Uh, You're a terrible manager. He's, 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 he's got an offer from Les Mis. He's got an offer from Les Mis, yeah. He doesn't need you. Yeah. <laughs> before before I agree to do the mouse trap, is there any swearing in the mouse trap? Huh? Is there any swearing in the mouse trap? I don't watch that no, stuff. No, but you could put swearing. Oh, well, you could put swearing. Come on, just look, just one big long fuck into the microphone. Just one. I, I can't, can't do that sort of thing. I can't even go and confess. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it has been. No, no, it's been great seeing you, my oh, dear. Oh, that's wonderful. You're fantastic. Keep that's on order. Absolutely. Yes, I, thank you that so much. That unit in particular, much. I like him. No, I know. Very much. He's a worry. Yes, thank you. You know who you look like? A young version of my dad. You look just like my father. I, it's really now we're still going. Good yeah, 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 the, the, the podcast is still going. Now just, I just demand a hug. So it's a takeover here now of the podcast by the Colonials. Um, the American, the Australian, and the New Zealander are here. I call you an idiot all the time. It's nothing special. I thought he was being taken away by keepers. I, I think I think they got frightened. But really? He was, he was like he was the boss go. of Scotland. He was like no. he created. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. He was the first minister. He was yeah. bloody hell. Extraordinary. I know. I mean, really, really scared great, to say right? fuck. But, yeah. But it must be like it must be a horrible way to be, like just constantly being don't no don't no don't don't, no don't. Have you ever gone drinking with politicians? What? Have you ever gone drinking with politicians in Australia? No, no. I've I've, I've been in a situation where I've gone drinking with politicians in Australia. So why aren't you drinking now? 
Because I'm an alcoholic. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Because I went drinking with politicians. Yes. All right. And so, you're really, you know... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that which sucks, because I still love booze. But you find a way. Well, oh, okay, I'll shut up. When, no, but when you see politicians drink in a social... Oh, uh, yeah. Like, it's amazing, isn't it? Like, it's And they cut loose. Um, yeah, right. And it's, but they, they, it's, it is. Like, you have to build a safe space. Yeah. You've got to put in a position where there's yeah. going to be no microphones, no one. That was fascinating because he can like, there, was, there were bits where he was giving away but then, yeah. and really wanting to as well, but yeah. just that yeah. pullback. Well, it I must be of, like, it's like a weak dog. Absolutely. It must be like your condition yeah, being slapped. It looks like he wanted to punch me, which is yeah. that was true. Okay, Lewis, I yeah. wanted to punch you. <laughs> Do you, do you think you'll get the vote? Yeah, it was right. real. Do you think he's going to get ripped out of politics mm. by passion. the arts? His passion is there. Wow, well, I don't know, I don't know. But, just while we're here, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> right. What the fuck? All right. There's two things. I can't believe you put me on the spot about pedophilia. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm but advocating pedophilia in No, there. I'm sorry. I was like, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. Because we didn't get round two. Uh, are we still recording? Oh, now? shut up. Yes, are we, we still, are. <laughs> yes, we are. They've got bored. They're they, no, they've got. Oh, that's so funny. They've got <laughs> bored because you're being such an arse. Right. I was going to say, the, uh, the, the, the you were here for pedophilia. Only because of you. Fuck. you it's just a, I think it's a, it's a word you say. And yeah. the, like, but for people listening out there, <laughs> I'm not. No, and it's not. just a word that I say yeah, I that makes the audience go, oh, don't. Like, it's just a very funny yeah. observation. And it is funny. It's and a it's very, very and funny. They all laugh very hard Look, Sam, when I do that reveal and they don't know what to do. I don't scatter five star reviews around. Right, so you know the word. Yeah, exactly. It's fucking brilliant. Now, <laughs> yes. over to Pale Boy in the corner here. Yes, there's my official hey, You have to go well, tell me and on. see this show. What time are you on? Uh, 8.15. Ah, it's the oh, same time. Yeah, we clash. Yeah, we clash. Oh, oh, stand for. You have... Uh, it's just... Oh, it's good down there as I well. I really... I wanted to stab myself in the eye because I... He was always on the top of the list and I will confess now, it was like, oh, shit. He's on at the stand. I don't know if I can be arsed to walk all the way See, down I'm that, that fucking sort of town. Hill. The best decision I've made about like uh, being in this Edinburgh is I'm in Leith and loving it. Oh, really? Loving being in Leith. Loving it. I absolutely adore it. I'm the other side of town. I'm near you. It's, it's it is a um, nice it's a side of town. Beast. It's a different beast. Yeah. His eye had the best. I'm half of me wants to stab myself in the eye because I didn't go until Saturday. To right. See show. So you want to see it early? Yeah. Uh, Went on Saturday. It was unbelievable because yeah. you, the the audience was like there was a like French person, Polish yeah. person, <laughs> a couple of um, Dutch people, and then there was like four Aussies, yeah. uh, a couple of Kiwis, and then there was like right. eight. Pacific Islanders. Oh yeah. my god, they're fantastic. fantastic. Yeah, they were the only ones I could find in Edinburgh at short yeah, notice. But were they from they, the, the Maori musical? Uh, no, no, no. I know those boys. They're great guys. Uh, I'm coming to share they, with them. They're lovely. Uh, you know, it com- at the risk of sounding racist, mm. it completely fucked up the whole seating plan. Because, you know, the, <laughs> the seats in... The seats in the stand are just like we're normal. About the, we're talking about the girth of Ireland. Like here. normal, oh, like normal little seats. So you've got ten normal little seats, Big people. and they've sold ten normal little tickets. And then, like one of these so guys comes funny. in, one and that's like a whoa, that's that a former prop in uh, New Zealand. Oh Rupert. really? Yeah, yeah. fantastic. So, so that's the kind of size for our listeners. That's the kind of size we're talking They're about. Big people. Ah, oh, we're talking brick shit house here. Because when you meet athletes for the first time and you, you suddenly realise your, your brain's distorted it because you're watching athletes among athletes on TV. And then you meet them in real life and go, oh, I'm a tiny human being. Yeah. Compared to... They're big men. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I'm related to a lot of those guys. But it's, and I am the smallest member of the family. It's an, ex- it's an extraordinary show. It's and I've been to see... I've been to see a few shows this year uh, about racism yeah. and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But either they're, ooh, I'm really angry. I am whatever colour I am that's not white and I'm angry. Or I'm white and I'm tricksy and smug. Yeah. And you, and 
I because I work half the year because I live half the year in Kenya. Yeah. I'm like. Yeah, right. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah totally. You know. And then. Yeah. You go and see. I mean, I think what we're talking about about um, uh, the PC brigade. Yeah. People are so desperate now to call people out. They're going, yeah, he did that and he did that, and so I called him out on it. Yeah. People are so desperate to call people out. Yeah. That they forget that if you just point something out in a really intelligent way, that people might go, shit. I never thought about it like that before. I didn't. His show. It's been a long time. That's great. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna speed up what I'm saying because it's too much about me. But it's been a very long time since I've sat in a show and had my mind like blown open. Yeah. And the, uh, what he does, James, in his show, he has is, a name. Uh, his, but he talk, well, it's the thing you do it. But it's the bit you do about how racism is not relative. Yeah, all right. Okay. So you do it, you do it, you do it. It's, oh, uh, it's, it's actually, don't make him do it, Sam. Yeah. <laughs> no, not by Sam. Let him get the money at the stage. That comes from a lot of conversations because it's a big discussion in the Pacific at the moment uh, amongst Pacific artists. Uh, we actually were in, um, in Guam last year uh, for the... Uh, Pacific Island Indigenous Festival, which happens only once every four years, and that was an amazing moment. And that's kind of where those conversations are talking about come out of, because um, Australia was there uh, with uh, Indigenous artists, who um, hilariously were all managed by white Australians. It's <laughs> um, a very sad and, tale. Back and Guam, or, or Guahan, is known, of course, as America's farthest post, and it's been in the news. But you just feel the weight of oppression, and we all got talking about. We've got this massive history in the Pacific, as like you say about Africa, of all of us being racially against each other. Yeah. Which went only went away partly because Caucasian people with guns turned up and we were all like, right, so we're not the biggest problem to each other. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, like Samoa and Tonga. I always laugh because Samoa and Tonga had an 800 year war. And so there's all this animosity between the Samoans and the Tongans that comes from 800 years of warfare. And you're like, no, you're all friends, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, you're all in the tropical islands together. What yeah, because you're all brown. Like each other yeah. because of rugby. Or because of oh, uh, sports games. And they're like, no, no, it's a bit deep. Yeah, it's, well, you're right, it's, like, it's relative. And um, like, like we're talking about with grandparents. My, uh, it's a bit similar to your, your mother in that my grandfather on my mother's side um, was horribly racist, horribly bigoted. And, um, and so he wasn't a part of my life. She protected me from him, other side of the world, and hardly any contact. Because he genuinely thought that we were inferior, and that mum had married, and he was working class, wait, soldier wait, wait. boy. You mean you're not inferior? Well, only two Americans. This is one of the things that... I'm doing a show called changed. I Hate Black People, and uh, it's a totally <laughs> different perspective on this. <laughs> It's the old white, yeah. in case you're wondering. But it was one thing that, that what James says is, um, with the Kiwis, and they're going, well, yeah, yeah, okay, like there's these boys, but we're not as bad as the Aussies. Mm. And the Aussies are going, well, you know. It's true. Team up and go, we're true. not as bad as you know, South Africa. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Like totally. Tri totally. Tri tri yeah. Nations rugby tournament. Yeah, totally. Yeah, and it's, um, it's really funny because then you go, well, who's next? And I get the feeling that Aussies, Kiwis, and South Africans get together and go, well, I mean, it's, it's not as bad as in America. Well, I exactly, mean, yeah. Man. The Quasarks. Yeah. That's always Quasarks. Quasarks are Aussies, Kiwis, and South Africans. Oh, I did not know that. Oh. Yeah, there was... The, I don't want to be lumped in with South yeah, Africans. Yeah, that's it, Quasarks. Oh, because you're I all immense. Well, you don't go past Bleecker Street, do you? <laughs> Jews! <laughs> Bloody <laughs> Jews, they're so annoying. I know. They are everywhere. Real, you got to admit, they're annoying and thinky all they the time. Are everywhere. How annoying is a Jew just having a think? Oh, I'm thinking too much. Yeah. Oh, oh, I can make that joke because the Holocaust <laughs> never happened. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it's, it, the other thing with. But James is, Jews I mean, are annoying though, you got to admit. <laughs> so I'm sitting in Alex's seat yeah, now, so I yeah. feel we be should be combating. Well, absolutely. They're so fucking annoying. Yeah. Horrible cuisine, like the worst food in the world. Like your food is <laughs> horrific. <laughs> a little bit of gelatinous fish and a bit of a bagel. <laughs> what, what part of Australia are you from? The north or the south island? <laughs> 
That's an New Zealand thing. Yeah. No, no yeah. it isn't. With Tasmania. Tasmania is the 16th. Well, the Tasmania world. Aboriginals. That's a very sad yeah. story. Do you know about that? Absolutely. Walked off the island. Walked off. Walked, I know walked. nothing about my black history uh, as well. You walked off where? Into the sea. They would just walk. Well, they would walk to a corner and then put on. I think Fra not Fraser Island. There's an island in between. Um, Victoria and then left there to die and rot. Bloody yeah. hell. Well, that well, you're fun talking about indigenous stuff. I remember stuff. Jason Cook came to New Zealand for the first time and went on our TV gala. Captain yep. Cook? Uh, no, Jason Cook. <laughs> same, English guy, white guy, Cook, same period yep. that Captain Cook came from, probably yeah. a descendant. But he, he gets said on national, all right, New Zealand, where are the Jews? And <laughs> the whole yeah, country enough. just went, Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Yeah! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> there's, like, there's, there's, there's definitely some there. There's that's massive really amount of Polish funny, immigrants from World War II <laughs> came over. Yeah. Like, that's but, really good. There's not. There's and, not. And just mate, what are you I never about, thought like, about that as well. Yeah, never See, in it. Melbourne, like massive Jew community. Yeah, but in New Zealand, really annoying people. Like, really annoying. Yeah. 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 Wait, I just want to say this about Sam. He's kidding, people. He's not. He's not. I get the feeling he's kidding. And I am a Jew, and I'm listening to this, and I am not offended by this. So please, do not boycott his show. Oh, please, come uh, on in. Yeah. I know. I, like, if I see that little thing above the doorway, I'm just like peeling off. I don't yeah. know why it's just yeah. in me. You know, I'm. I'm. I'm I, I remain to be convinced that Lewis Schaefer is actually Jewish. <laughs> I mean, I'm just let me let me just feel that note. Well, People no, are already questioning if oh his mother's alive. Yeah. 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 Just stripping the man but, of his identity. Yeah. They said it was dead. The other thing in your show, uh, I, I, we can't even say some Samoa. Samoa. Yeah. Samoa. Yeah. Samoa. Yeah. Samoa. Yeah, so you say Samoa. Samoa. Yeah, Samoa. Samoa. It's, it's Samoa. More. It's so like, like, like Melbourne. Yeah, like Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah. But yeah, Melbourne. And, and it's yeah. funny thing is that I, I make I make the audience, you know, I, so I dance around with the word, but then I just I hit them with, you know, we don't actually care because we understand that accents hit vowels in different places. Yeah, and even but completely. We but it's say, like um, I get irritated now by people saying, "Yes, I was in Kenya." You go, it's not Kenya. It's Kenya. It's Kenya. I mean, that one it's should be really easy. In, it's really insulting to say Kenya because Kenya is what the white colonialists call it. And yet, I'm going, yeah, they were in Samoa. You're, that's just as bad. Well, I love that people now, because of Disney, are uh, going, oh, I really love the um, Samoan culture in Moana. And it's like, you can say, you can, you can say it, it's so close. See, I get yeah. Mary and Maury. So, yeah. Really, I'm that, not very good well, And then there's the Moriori people in New Zealand. Oh, the Moriori who were eaten by the Maori. Well, some of them were. But that's a, that's a whole different... And but, the moa bird, which was eaten out. Do you know about this? The moa bird was definitely... It's fascinating. The moa was eaten out by the... Eaten out. Eaten <laughs> out. <laughs> by the Maori. A whole, whole down, different thing. But I don't know much about the Moriori who were cannibalised in some way. They were... Yeah, well, they're, they're still exist. They're it's not saying Williamsburg and Williamsburg. Yeah, 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 yeah. So how come Disney's never got hold of... Well, they did, didn't they? Moana. Disney. Yeah. yeah, but there's no cannibalism in that. Oh, right, of course. No, I've not seen it. But mine is like a, a real Pan Pacific kind of tale. Where's the Jewish like Disney film? Yeah. 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 You know, you know that's what? That's very weird. Do, do you know what? Given, I, no, given the way it all worked, can I, can I put, why hasn't Disney wasn't that American Tale? It like a Wait, Jewish it's an American yeah. Tale. Oh my god, you're brilliant. That's you are good. brilliant. Yeah. 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 It is. And Mel Blanc was a Jew, so there you go. That's that that ridiculous. America. That's a mind yeah. at work right now. That is yeah. outrageous. Somewhere out there. It is an American country. Yeah. yeah. The well, actually, they couldn't have actual yeah. Jewish people. They yeah. had to have mice. Feel free to say that. <laughs> Shut up, Lewis. <laughs> I really they, uh, I feel like fighting you for this Have I lost well. control of this show? Yeah, completely. <laughs> you this were never in control I was of this in control show. for a bit, and then I realized it wasn't even my show. Okay, that's... I, I, I think that's a paradigm... You know? So what's the how much how, what's the next question? Oh, no. We never got round to this while Alex was here, which is a real tragedy. But I Okay, yeah. you got you guys are doing kind of like Australasian funny no, 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 funny sign like, language the, the, there. The way your brain went straight there, I was like, wow, that's extraordinary. Anyway, oh, I, oh, I, I love some animation. So animation idea. Yeah, it's, Have it's, you seen? No, you haven't seen it. It is an unbelievably brilliant show. He dresses like a gollywog. This has uh -oh. made flyering difficult. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> but he also does a show called. Uh, Oh, too, too soon. soon. Too soon. Now, 
<laughs> it is your gold tune suit. Now, I thought, because I'd seen, he's doing a show called Britain, we need to talk about the Golden Rocks. Yeah. And so it's, we've gone very silent because we're all signing to get more drinks. So he's, I got, and I thought he's doing a show called Britain, we need to talk about the Golden Rocks. And then he's also doing a show called To See. Yeah. Jokes from the future, and I thought, wow, it's gonna be fa- it's gonna be a- an hour of these really hardcore jokes. Well, you where you go, um, dystopian future, so you know, so and so's like two minutes after Diana carks it, you go, oh, well, I uh, thought, well, oh, I thought too it was gonna be soon. Like, oh, I thought too soon would be about like doing. Like jokes about Trump in the second term or something. I know. I, I yeah. thought it was going to be like. Can like, I just say something? You know, so yeah. no, you can't. Can yeah. I tell my joke? No, you can't. What? Yeah, What's your joke? One joke. You have a joke. No, I made the first joke about about Madeline McCann's disappearance. Okay, go. The day before, uh, the day before I kidnapped her, and uh, that was too soon. Uh huh. Very funny. But I'm that's so in fear of that. Exactly. That's oh the kind God. of thing I thought too what? soon what was going to be immense. about. I'm so worried. Sorry, These but... are the kind of people that's out there. No, so... because it was a thing about like in Barcelona, there was a, that, that horrible thing that happened and a little boy from Australia went missing. I don't know if just saw that. And and there was a bit of like uh, talk about like maybe he was pinched off the street and he's off like being a little sex boy. And it's like, fuck. And then it found out he died. So it's okay. Wow. But wow, fuck. right. Yeah. But, so, um, well, please don't put that in there. No, we won't. Right. Uh, Please don't keep, don't say, don't, don't include what so I said. So, I, it completely no it can't. So I thought that your show, Too Soon, mm. was going to be jokes like that. Right. Imagine yeah. my surprise and disappointment <laughs> when I turned up and he's there dressed in pink lycra. Uh, with a day glow yeah. pink wig. That's annoying. It's a yeah. like, and, 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 and there's only me there. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I think I was more disappointed that there was only one person there. <laughs> okay, to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, that's quite like. To be fair, that is quite like. Uh, but I wasn't happy. Okay, he was devastated, but I wasn't happy. And we had fun. And then it turned, to, and I'm like, yeah, I'm here to see the show. And then he's like, it's a kids' show. And I'm like, what oh, the fuck? It's what a kids' time show. Was it? 11 By 11 o'clock in the morning. You know, you do, you're not doing too soon jokes at 11 o'clock in the morning. Well, I, okay, okay. So I haven't move. thought it through. It's Thank you for move. pointing it out to me now. Uh, but then these two old people turned up who were lovely. Yeah. And then, like, two. <laughs> two no kids. And no. then, like, a couple of. Like, two kind of like 20 somethings who yeah. sat at the back and were very bemused. Yeah. And we ended up talking about masturbation in the future. Oh, of course, as you do with kids. But the funny thing about that whole season was hardly any kids showed up. It was like all well, adults why and would teenagers. you weren't in the kids section? Well, there's several marketing problems to sort out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was in the comedy section. His main show is That's called so Britain, funny. We Need to Talk About the Gollywogs. And then he's doing too soon. <laughs> what are you going to expect? <laughs> it was all these people so who just showed up, and it's, it's kind of like a half improv show because you want to see what do you guys want to know about the future. And I tell them, all these people just like needed hope. It was yeah. like so surreal. It was just so so. There's, there's what happens after Brexit. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but right. I mean, you know, if you don't show up, I love that as a premise for a show. It's yeah, such a great idea. Yeah. Like we were expecting a kids show, but well, I mean, yeah. It but sounds better. Said, it sounds better as a game show. Too soon, and you press the button. You were too soon. It's like you were too. It's like you were instead of like who's the first then, it's who's the second then. <laughs> oh, there you go. Lovely. Oh, well, I'm, I'm drinking. We're drinking. But okay, where was I? I've completely forgotten. Right, we've done that. Yes. The other reason that Lewis is here yeah, yeah. is that because we bumped into one Back another. to me. Back to you. And there's really, there's really no point in discussing this now because the politician person is gone but he did say something interesting and intelligent and and which wasn't going to make half the people that heard it appalled and upset no i question the authenticity of that straight away <laughs> that's the one he thing I he thought. said lewis schaefer said that after the charlottesville hoo-ha 
Yeah. Um, you know, that's a, it's not a very technical term, but I prefer to refer to it as the Charlottesville hoo-ha. Mm. He said, he had a half a pint of lager, so he might not remember it, that he reckons in America, we're entering, we, they are entering into a phase like McCarthyism, except for the right wing. So then you couldn't be anything remotely left wing, even slightly left wing, even let's be nice to people was too left wing. And now nobody will, it, it, it kind of is, it's a clamp down on the right. No, no one's going to allow a right well, no, wing. What they need to do is, and it's quite simple, is the Nazis were snappy dresses. You have to admit, like they looked good. It was yeah. like, oh, yeah. oh, that's it. Well, it was Cal, scared of that. Cal, what's his name, wasn't it? And now, what's that? It was the fashion, the family fashion. You got boss. But now they're wearing t-shirts. Like, you know, if you really, if yeah. they got their fashion together, yeah. like you would believe in the courts. But because they're yeah. wearing t-shirts, you're like, nah, I don't know about that. And also, like in an Ed Hardy t-shirt, you're like, nah. But like if you're wearing a really good suit, you'd be like, okay. But also they're kind of fat and ugly, also. Yeah. You know, if they look more like Dirk Bogart in the Night Porter. Yeah. I mean, well, frankly, like a, I would follow like Dirk Bogart answer. in the Night Porter anywhere. So following a fashion brand, maybe that is the future. It's just of following politics. like, a, a, oh yes, like just following yeah. a brand and a style. Like, yeah. like because that, people do that anyway. To that, they do. People do that anyway, rather than have to think about... A Fred Perry shirt is almost a right wing kind of yeah, thing, so well, yeah. like, maybe wear a Fred Perry shirt. The funniest part though was seeing all these people going, oh, it's, you know, it's anyone on the right. Well, I think even if it was, if it was it's the Nazi thing that I think has, has, has thrown up, because uh, white supremacists marching, nothing necessarily new in America, or in many countries, but Nazis showing up in force and white supremacists and Nazis, like, and I don't mean like your closet Nazis, I mean your, your dressed to the nines Nazis. No, no, they're in t-shirts. No, 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 a lot of these guys also like had the, um, had the black and... The I think oh, they were the most that I saw at the protests were in t-shirts. They're just in t-shirts going, yeah, I'm a Nazi. Lack of commitment, Sam. Absolutely. Lack of commitment. Well, you gotta, you gotta get these people like away from the. Like, if you want to be taken seriously, you've got, like, you've got, you've got to get your, you've got to get your Nazis out. Like, that's, that's like showing. If they've got people showing up on the left. But hang on a minute. That's, that's then turning into like normalising. What the white supremacists march? Well, white supremacists march all the time. Do they in t-shirts? Yeah. Yeah. Can I? Can I speak? I'm probably drunk, but I don't. Know. Can I speak I'm up sorry, for? Sure listen to me. Can what I? Speak you want to speak up for the, the Nazis? Premises? No, for the Nazis. I'll speak up for the Nazis. Is that? Is that? Uh, I don't like Nazis either, but they. I just want to go on record as saying I don't like Nazis. The more I hear about those Nazis, the less I like. Yeah, I'm gonna say I, I know. Like, the less I, I like. I know. I mean, fashion-wise, whoa. Oh yeah. They had it now. Fuck, I feel like I went to a bad place. <laughs> really? like if you dress a little bit better, yeah. like maybe I'll be like, oh, okay, yeah. like I'm, I'm in with fair, that. At the start yeah. of the podcast, you started with pedophilia and you've got yeah. <laughs> so, That's it. So you were right such a spot to get into. What the fuck? So Why sorry. Why you warm? It was straight I'm in. Like, so and sorry. I'm like, it sounds like I'm defending pedophilia anyway. No, but now, you see... Now everyone will have forgotten your defense of pedophilia. Oh God, no, there's no now, defense, there's no because defense. Because now you're defending Nazis. It's just a word you say that apparently, like when you go north of the border oh, no. and you get up here, you say that, people just no. fucking no, freak out. No, re they freak anywhere. I love it, I love how much they freak out. And it is, you just Very go, funny joke, you have to admit, it's a it's, joke. No, it's brilliant. The whole show is brilliant, it's five stars. Your show is five stars, and my show is four. <laughs> Four stars. Watching you curdle. I know. A lot of it's been great. I'm, ki I'm killing myself every day. I'm oh, crying yeah. for half an hour on the show. The entire show. And uh, oh four, four stars for but tears. This is, this is the thing. Like, I mean, like, to know what it's about. And then it, it really is a thing. Like, I'm, I do yeah. feel like I, I might be a bit pissed, but I'm bothered to you in a way that I know that you're because talking about something I understand about your mum. Which you said to me, what well, you just said to us about your mom yeah. is what I'm talking about in yeah. my show. Is how you can No, it's something. not because you abandoned your mom. No, 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 but at the same time. 
okay, I went to a psych, and this, look, I've got a wee, but I went to a psych, and I uh, finally got the validation from someone who said to me, what your mum did was so bad, you don't have to know your mum. And okay. I should have this animal attachment to her. I think okay. just because she's your mother, that you have to have this relationship with her. If, if anything, it's in a weird way, some sort of weird sexism. Yeah. That you should have a relationship with someone who abused you. Yeah. But because she's your mum and she's a nurturing type and a carer and all that sort of stuff, that I felt guilt for years that I didn't have this relationship with my mum and I didn't yeah. want this relationship. And basically, she is privileged in my life in any way to have any involvement with me and my family and my daughter. And she, she's got little parts of it. She gets little right. snippets of it, and there are bits of it, and I am I will not see her. I whooped when I found that, when I was told that by a psych. I'm pissed now trying to say something quite uh, serious. But um, I didn't feel guilty anymore about... Um, yeah the fact that I didn't have the relationship with my mum. And to abandon your mum is not, it's a big word to say abandon, but you know what I mean? I, no, like, no, 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 I know. Sometimes that, that, that relationship is, I, know, I mean, I know I'm, I know a mum's a mum, and I know you might no, have no, a I mean, close well, relationship my, my, with your mum. My mum died when I was 16, and yeah, uh, you've got a beautiful yeah, memory to make. I, yeah, it's all, goodness. And I, 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 I just, and I, Love my dad yeah, so I know you do. much. I, I can't, you know, I, I can't cope with people oh, not loving that. their yeah. parents. So you're you know, saying I understand that. that, and that's so are you saying that I did the wrong thing? Are you saying that I did the wrong thing? Yeah, of course I am. Because also because Lewis is mom. Well, she wasn't abusive. She wasn't horrible to him. I just, I, I, I have, I, and I know it's because it's, it's of in an animal way. You know that, like, you know, I come from a zoo background. Of course, absolutely. Yeah, see, I, used to, I was a zoologist, and I understand that this type of stuff is like very. There's yeah. no paternal or maternal thing that goes on. It's just, it's attachment, and like yep. what love is shown. You it's made some, a decision, Sam, that you had a choice between your sanity and the safety of your child yeah. and this woman. Yeah. And you made a, Sophie, like a Sophie's Choice kind of thing. If you had more to give, say, if you had less at stake, you might have spent more time with your mom yeah. if you had to make a decision for your own safety. And that's what I think the answer to my show has become. It's morphing every single day, but it's that way, where I said to myself, I love my mother, but I can't, I don't have the energy to deal with her when I'm dealing with my young child, too. I have yeah. How child. dare you not have the energy to deal with your mom? What do you mean no, you no, don't no, have no, the energy to deal with your mom? Sam can explain you that. Can love, you can love your mother. But, but his but mother like wasn't her. abusive. I understand that. I just want to give a shout out to my mum who's listening to this podcast. Um, yeah. I'll be I'll be back on the six. If you can pick me up from the airport, that'll be really great. I've got some washing. But, it, but because you, well, I, actually, more than any, I don't know more than any of us, because your mum and dad, and you talk about it in the show, that must have been horrendous for your mum to have a dad that she loved mm. who was so yeah, I mean I think, it, I think it was I think it's very difficult uh, for her. and even now I never press her on it because um, they, they were a tight unit uh, her yeah. and, and her mum and, and her dad and then to discover that there's this thing uh, which because of me and because of dad uh, he's going to be uncomfortable Fuck. and so I think she did that thing where, mean, he, so I never met him as an adult I met him uh Apparently, when I was two, you never met him. I never met him. I oh, know he's dead. He's dead now. I never met him. But Sorry. when you you said that your granddad called your dad 
You don't miss was much. Was it a fuzzy haired? Oh no, no, that was customs. Oh. But just so you know, you don't miss much. Like I met my dad and he's fine. Well, he's you, know that, you know that story I told about going to Hulls? Yeah. The right. only reason I went there is because that's where his ashes are in the oh. military. Yeah, uh, right. In the military ser- uh, cemetery there. That's the. So did did you say that your grand your grandfather called your father? <laughs> yeah. A fuzzy haired. Yeah. Well, he's, I mean, that's that's the, the tree climber stuff. or something. You know, I'm not gonna have. No, I mean, uh, I mean, the harshest sentence to come out was uh, you're gonna have monkeys for children. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that's there's no dancing around that. Um, but you know, and I mean, was, did they have monkeys for children? I'm very good at climbing trees. I mean, yeah. What a great story about monkeys for children the other day, which is basically um, a little boy went up to a little uh, Aboriginal girl in Australia in Perth and pointed at her and said, "Monkey." And then the mother was like, oh my God. And then said, I'm so sorry. And explained to like uh, the little boy and um, the mum, but not realizing then afterwards that like she had a monkey picture on her t-shirt. Wow. So the explanation from the mother was way too much, which was her thinking a little bit too much about the word monkey. Because when I think the word monkey, I straight away think of a monkey. Yes. Yes. (laughs) Especially if it's on a t-shirt. I like it's, racism. Well, I, I do. <laughs> is that? Can I, I, have to say, I think. I think that. Um, is that too soon? I think racism is is uh, is human mm. because I think we all look at somebody who's not the same as us and go. But, yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that at all. Because oh, okay. I don't think racism is human. I just think that like, sometimes you look at this and go, that's different. No, I, I, mean, like, I, I don't it's mean, weird. Like, okay, I, I don't, okay, so I don't, I don't mean like and you I'm not being like, oh, I'm protective of it or no, anything no, like that. I don't, but I do just go across and go, I, I find myself being racist when I'm just looking at someone too much just going, fuck, that's so different. And I love what's going on. No, <laughs> you know I, no I mean? absolutely. I find myself more of a, more of a no, pervert. No, I fucking love I'm more perverse when I'm looking at people and just trying to work people out. Yeah. I mean, I, I find I don't mean, like anthropology and genealogy, especially like for the islands, I'm fascinated. And it, fascinated. But, but it is everywhere. You know, you you were saying that it happens all across the islands. Um, when I'm in Kenya, it's a practically the most uh, not racist, but you know, tribalist place I've ever been. It is perfectly acceptable within Kenya for people to go. I don't like her, she's too black. Mm. Uh, and it, it's, it's everything, they comment on everything. Ah, yeah. oh, she's too, she's too this, like she's too that. And, in, yeah. and it's, it is a, a natural thing to look at someone who's different from you and go, oh yeah, what's all that about? And I, I, I think that where it became toxic was when white people started to be in charge of everything and that that made it toxic how did it make it toxic it was the white people who said hey you're all kenyans just get along with each other oh that's I don't not what they that. said i think you know what if i can be serious for a second you um oh i, I okay I, okay I'm, let's wait 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 let's take a vote guys do we think we should allow i'm voting against, against it. i think he's going to be serious okay I'm gonna, no, I'm okay james the direction. i'm um, not sure he is no no, no. Uh, I well think i think serious. we're drawn here okay I think someone's going to be serious right now. Be se- be serious, but briefly, yeah. because the techie guy on the desk there is about to pass <laughs> out. <laughs> okay, go. Is that I say this? God bless the American and British influence in the world. Oh <laughs> God! I'm so I'm so glad you were serious. Yes. Uh, Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Okay. We, we I have hope a people think that I'm kidding. I hope people think I'm kidding. I am serious, but let them think that I'm kidding. We had a 50-50 chance there of it all going, <laughs> you know, interesting or completely <laughs> fucking horribly I'm wrong. I'm gonna so badly. I'm gonna yeah. right. and that's so. human. And that bonds us all together. Yeah, that does bonds the fact us that all together. Some people need to shit. We all do. Right. But you, you're so, able to hold that we inside. Okay. It's just, and dad's this thing. I feel just, bad. So. I know. Don't so. So right at the moment, because Sam has to wee, we're going to wrap this up now. Let's go, guys. And everyone's going to. So James. Yes. 
I'll both plug my your show. shows. Oh yeah. Well, um, actually, too soon has finished. Oh uh, right. Uh, that's the next show up there. Too soon. It's too, too late soon. for too soon. <laughs> oh, I can't. Too late for too soon. Did you see what I did there? That's fucking brilliant. Too late for too soon. That's uh, that's, that's my friend. Anyway, um, so. But I. Uh, Britain, let's talk about the guy that works is on. Yeah, for God's sake, week. come on, you haven't even 8 been 15, drinking. 8.15 at the stand. Stand four. Go, go. Five stars, the Scotsman. Five stars, the Scotsman. Lewis. I can't recommend my show. Okay, so he can't recommend his show, but there we go. So, Sam. So, uh, do come along, get the secret of a walnut, 9.40... At the uh, where am I? Assembly this year. Yeah, at assembly this year. Yeah, around. yeah. So can I, uh, can I, so wait, wait, wait. So can I recommend? Julia Porn and Sam Simmons, five stars. This Scotsman. Uh, this has been the last for this year. Oh. Slaughtered at the abattoir. Thank you very much to Sam Simmons. Thank, thank you, Kate. You for, shut up. Thank you very much to. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kate to was hitting me the entire up, time. Oh, for fuck's James sake. Honestly, it's what James you Nukisi, like. Nukisi, but the American is coming in and dominating. Yeah, okay, thank you very much to James Nokise. Thank you very much. Well, thank you a bit to Louis Schaefer. Thank you so much to Alex Salmond, who's gone like half an hour ago because he just couldn't cope. Is that true? And uh, we will see you here next year. 